Hi, today I want to show you how to use your Laura Worthington fonts and other specially coded fonts in Silhouette Studio if you have Macintosh Mavericks operating system. And the way you're going to find out if you have that is you're going to go to the Apple menu under About This Mac and it's going to say version 10.9 point something. That's the code name Mavericks. 10.9 is what you're looking for. That's the newest one out now. And it's got some new features in Fontbook that you want to learn about. So we're going to go find Fontbook. It's an application. You just want to type Fontbook in your Spotlight window and that'll bring up Fontbook. I'm going to choose Samantha Upright Pro which is a Laura Worthington font and if I had more than one I would have to go down into here and select the specific one but I only have one loaded on this for demo purposes so you have to go to a specific font before the view comes up in the window then you have a number of views to choose from if you go to preview what we want is repertoire or you can click command 2 or you can use this button here with the ABCD on it when you get to the repertoire view it's going to show you every character in the font and there are hundreds of them. When you start scrolling there's actually two scroll bars. When you start scrolling you have this one that takes you up and down through the entire font and then you have the one with the circle on it which uh, sh makes the characters bigger or smaller. So you have to kind of work with these two. It's a little bit awkward uh, when you have a font this big but you can still get to all the characters that you need. So we're going to come in here and find a character that we like. Let me get these a little bit bigger so you can see them. Okay, so here's a, a very ornate R, uh, uppercase R. When we hover over that, we will get a little yellow box that will give us a glyph number. And below that is a U plus four-digit code number. What that second line with the U tells us that this is a Unicode character, specially coded for Unicode, which is what we need to see because that's the only kind that's going to work for us in Silhouette Studio. So in other versions of the Mac OS, when you click on a character in the repertoire view, you got nothing. But because we're in Mavericks and we've got this new feature, it highlights in blue and it allows us to be able to copy that. So we can go to Edit and we'll see that Copy is not grayed out. We can copy, we can control C, and then we can go to Silhouette Studio and we can paste from the menu, edit paste or command V. And we get a rectangle that looks like maybe this didn't work, but we haven't selected our font yet. So we need to go to the A button on the top to open the textile window and then we need to find our font so I'm going to start typing in Samantha till it comes up and once I click on the rec correct font Samantha Upright Pro you'll see that my lovely R appears so that's one way we can do it we can just paste it without a text cursor and then change the font or we can do it another way which I'll show you We're going back to font book let's go and get another character Okay, here's a very fancy, I think that's an E. I'm going to copy that and go back to Silhouette Studio. And now instead of just pasting, I'm going to click on this until I get the active text cursor. And now I'm going to paste and it will go right into there. And because the font is already selected, it will show up. I guess that was an O. So you can either paste it with an active text cursor in a block of text that's already specified as Samantha or you can change it to Samantha afterwards. Either way works but you do have to make sure that the font is on the font that you picked the character out of Fontbook in or else it doesn't work. So this is uh, really handy. It allows us to bring all those fancy characters from the Laura Worthington fonts into Silhouette Studio quickly and easily without any other software. Again this only works for the Unicode characters Laura Worthington has, fo has fully coded her fonts and hopefully other designers are going to follow suit. So I hope this helps you and thanks for watching.